Hey everyone, Joel Hanson here. Today, we are at Zeldin's. That's right guys, Zeldin's in Toronto, Ontario, having a delicious looking spread of food. So this is a traditional Jewish deli. Not only do we have like traditional, obviously, sandwiches, guys, we got latkes, we got uh, everything. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I even got a matzo ball soup. My first time actually ever having matzo ball soup. So basically, let's see what we have. We got some halibut, that's right, fish and chips, guys. The best of the best, halibut. We have a lovely looking cob salad, no matter the healthy vegetables. We have a steak on a bun. This is a super awesome looking steak sandwich. We have a rack of ribs. I have um, the beef knish, knish, I believe that's pronounced, how it's pronounced, which is basically like a potato dough with ground beef and deli meats inside. We have the potato Alexa, which is kind of like kale pancake. We then have club sandwiches, we have pastrami, uh, I have a Reuben, all that good stuff. So basically, we're gonna dig on in, let's eat some delicious food, let's get started here momentarily. All right, so there's pretty much like many areas we could start. I think I'm going to probably start with this halibut. I think the halibut looks delicious. I'm a big fish and chip person. Just look at this, nice crispy looking piece of fish. So I know they do all the sauces here. Everything just looks delicious. I am a tartar sauce and ketchup person. I'll try it first just by itself. Beautiful meaty halibut, great crunch. Mm. Mm. Damn, that tartar sauce. Holy cow. Mm. That very well may be the best tartar sauce I've ever had. It's rich and it's creamy. Perfect level of acidity. That is definitely a must try. Hot dang, that was good. These fries look delicious as well. Definitely a house cut french fry. And it's exactly that. Very, very good. Top of these ribs. So they make the barbecue sauce here, which is pretty cool. Hmm. Great flavor in that sauce. Sweet, tangy. Ribs are tender, have a good texture on them. No complaints. Ribs are definitely a finger food. And pretty much anything that's not a finger food I think can be a finger food. And it's good. No complaints. Nice taste. Of it. Definitely be sticky sweet and covered in sauce though. Mm. Nice dry rub on the ribs as well actually. Mm. That was a really nice addition I wasn't expecting. And um, when I saw ribs on the menu, you guys know I love animals. You guys know I love barbecue. Love all them good things. So I had to give them a shot. Try one of these lovely looking pickles. Mm. That was a damn good pickle. 
So these are Plucker's Pickle, which come from Montreal, Canada, and they are known to be the best of the best pickles. And I can attest, they're damn good. Try some of this house-made coleslaw as well. Mm. I'm a big coleslaw fan. Lovely vinegar coleslaw. With that acidity everyone loves. It was really good. Can I take that for you? I'm not quite done with it yet, Sorry. but it's really good actually. Good, I'm um, enjoying it. That coleslaw is nice. Thank you. I love the like vinegary, you know, the vinegar kind of, kind of coleslaw. Right. I like it. But no, I'm, that's it's awesome. So good. thank you so much. Excellent. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Potato salad's really good as well. In the bag? Yeah. Great mild flavor. Perfect level of cream in it. Very good. Now we have some of these awesome looking sandwiches. Got that Cobb salad too, which is massive. That thing is giant. Look at the size of that. Let's look at it. So that's gonna take a while to eat. But I think let's go for, hmm. Let's try the steak sandwich, which is a lovely looking bun. Look at the freaking size of that thing. Look at the onion rings on that. This is giant. This is like a, this is a, I don't know, it's a one bite sandwich. What else can we go? Mm. Got some lovely peppers in there. Pickled hot peppers, nice sweet sauce. On that steak, I love that it's called steak out of bun. That's what it is. Cause it's not a bun. Very good bun. Ooh, those peppers and onions though. The onion rings stuff. Wow. Very delicious combo. I love this. The steak's really cut like finely, so just super easy to eat, super tender. Mm. Very good. Lost my fork, but very good. Thank you. Service. Nothing to play about that. Stick in the bun. Very good. Mm. Bring this cob salad in for a little bit. So it's got their house made balsamic dressing on it. Like I said, they make their sauces here. They also have their famous Zeldin's hot mustard, which I'm super excited to try. Those mustards get shipped all over the place. People buy them down in Texas, everything. So let's try this cob salad. Mm. The dressing is great. Mm. Red spinach, egg, carrot, bacon. Mm. Great combo. Trying to get everything in a bite. Try the keyword. It's giant. I think this may honestly be the biggest salad I've ever received from a restaurant. It is giant. This would be like, honestly, I bet this could feed two people. And it's delicious. Your proteins, your greens. All the health. Without sacrificing flavor.
Where were we? Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. So many great looking items. <coughs> Excuse me, but you know what is true? We haven't really even gotten into the deli sandwiches yet. And this is a Jewish deli after all. So I think that's suitingly the next place to start. Let's go with, let's do the pastrami. I love pastrami. We make the pastrami here. We're talking cured, smoked, lovely looking meat. Give it a bite. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That's what I like. We have their famous Z sauce here. House made dressing. Z sauce is legit. Z sauce is phenomenal. That is, wow. Now I gotta try some of that lovely mustard. So, again, this is the hot mustard. I'm gonna hear about this one for forever. It is literally, like I said, people buying this stuff by the jar. So, we got a lovely, nice spread there. So, let's try it. I'm so excited. Oh yeah. Such a strong pepper. A very spicy, zesty mustard. Let's try that Z sauce with the mustard. I think that'll be a great combo. Let's give it a go. That is delicious. I love sandwiches. Love those pickles. And that coleslaw. Woo. I think next is suiting. Let's hit up this club. Love a club. This is actually um, kind of like a, like an egg bread. There's a name for it. Hello, hello, hello. I forget, but yes. Turkey, bacon, tomato, mayo, lettuce. Again, another huge sandwich. Big bite. So let's give it a go. Super soft on bread. How can you beat that? Love the turkey club. Lovely. Where were we with this beautiful club? It's like a deli classroom. The sandwiches well, generally come with like on their side or coleslaw, like pickles, pita salad. Just a lovely club sandwich, like a lovely traditional sandwich. I love a good sandwich, it makes a great lunch, a great brunch. And a great dinner. I think it's safe to try the matzo ball soup, which, from my understanding, matzo is like a grain, and then it's like a flour, so it's like egg flour mixture, kind of like a big dumpling, served in the soup. 
Not like that. And just like that. Really good. You get like a chicken broth kind of vibe. The matzo ball really soaked up the broth. While maintaining its texture. It's a lovely soup, lovely flavor. Delicious. And that's a very like Jewish, Jewish deli, we'll say, staple. And it's delicious. My first time having it, won't be the last. Now, let's try this good old beef knish. So you pronounce that? Beef knish. 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 Perfect. You do pronounce the K. I like it. So we're gonna try this knish. Looks delicious. So unlike a lot of places, these ones are not fried. This is more traditionally done. It's actually baked. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I've never had one of these either. But I tell you, I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic because everything else has been absolutely fantastic. So let's give it a try. They also poured like gravy all over it. So we got the meat, again, the kind of potato dough on the outside. Ooh, okay. On the inside, that's what it looks like. Brown beef and deli meats. It's almost like I'm getting like a shepherd's pie vibe in a way. Mmm. Ooh, wow. Mm. Damn, that is delicious. Okay. So, I said shepherd's pie vibe just by the looks of it. On the inside, it tastes nothing like shepherd's pie. You get the lovely cured aspect from those uh, meats. The deli meats being in there. Beautiful gravy flavors. It's like a really nice... Rich taste of gravy. Mm. Damn. Okay. Super impressed with this. I almost got a little bit of like a heat or a spice in there. From that lovely like... Again, like deli meat. You get like the cloves. Almost like a... Gives me a little like warming reminiscence, you know? I think of like a home cooked meal. You got a nice... I don't, I don't say Christmas dinner, but like a holiday season festiveness. I like it. Very good. Let's try the Alexa. These are like potato pancakes. Very traditional. Very, again, quintessential Jewish item. Fried fish jelly. Potato. There's some, I think some onions in there. Traditionally served with sour cream. We'll try with some sour cream on it. And sour cream to get. I would say sour cream aspect. It's really highlights you need. The richest of the potato. Like, this reminds me kind of with the fried potato aspect, kind of like a hash brown a little bit. I'm going to play. Potato pancake. Alright. Montreal. Smoked meat. Beautiful Reuben, guys. Sauerkraut, cheese. Smoke meat, come from Montreal. I like it. I'm excited. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Damn, so juicy. Mm. Those cloves, that peppercorn. If you're not familiar with Montreal smoked meat, you should be. Beautiful. The onions and cheese, really nice aspect on it. Try this on the Z sauce. Phenomenal.
the Z Sausage House made kind of reminds me of kind of like a Thousand Islands, but man, it is so much better. Dang good. Definitely break out this lovely hot mustard again. This is delicious stuff. If you're a mustard lover, I would totally recommend. Does the sandwich need it? No. Am I just looking for an excuse to eat the mustard? Definitely. If I can work this jar. Uh, there we go. One-handed jar use. I'd say it's definitely not shameful to eat that stuff by this spoonful. Beautiful. That freaking smoky go. Mm. So juicy, so tender. So delicious. I'm not one to usually like focus on a bread. But I'm gonna mention the breads here are great. Super soft. Delicious. Some more of this lovely looking coleslaw. Okay, so this is just like a, I'm going to a deli and that's a crisp, fresh coleslaw. Coleslaw. With the pickledness, it almost gives me like a A little bit of a sauerkraut vibe. Have a pickle. How's everything going? Is everything okay still? Can I get you anything? I have no complaints. <laughs> Good. I might feel like a dessert in a minute, but this is freaking... It's great. I don't know how you're doing it. <laughs> it's good. That's yeah. how. It's just... You can't, can't get enough. Like I said, okay. even some take-home items. Jar mustard. Thin coleslaw. Would recommend. And those pickles. Woo! That'd be a uh, spicy, Hello. soft, bratty pickle. Mm -hmm. Exactly the way it should be. I have a few of these fries because they were really, really good. The grilled cheese has a gravy and fries. I like fries. I don't like ketchup. So that everybody. I was about that. Zelda is definitely a very delicious treat. I've enjoyed everything. Fantastic tasting food. I love the Jewish jelly. Best charred sauce I've ever, ever had. Delicious hot mustard. Lovely sandwiches. I think my favorites today. I love the house made pastrami. Fish and chips. 10 out of 10. Cobb salad was huge. Great, great, great bar, great deal. And that's about that. But everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Very delicious food. So of course, if you're in Toronto, on Young, definitely check out Zelda. Really recommend, people are, the staff are great, family owned and operated, the food's fantastic. Stop for lunch, shop for brunch, all the above. So everybody, of course, till next time, stay happy, happy, happy eating, and with that, have a lovely day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day